A vigil tonight in Foxborough for both a little boy and his dad, the man that killed him before killing himself. This is a gut-wrenching story. Jim Smith has more from Foxborough, a town looking for answers after what feels like a senseless tragedy. Our hearts grieve for this sweet boy. A heartbroken community, Love. candles shining in the night as the town of Foxborough remembers a little boy lost in such a horrible way. Amazing grace. The town common became a place of reflection and sorrow. People trying to come to terms with the death of six-year-old Anthony Scotia, shot to death last week by his father, who also took his own life. A veteran whose family said suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder. Very sorry for what happened. I would never, ever, ever imagine losing a child at the age of six. Um, I understand that the dad was very sick. I feel really, really bad for the family. It was a chance to give comfort to Anthony's devastated family, letting them know they're not alone. We mourn a life tonight cut short. It is a sad, unimaginable an unbearable loss for us all. Balloons were released in a darkened sky, sent toward the heavens along with prayers. When I read that a six-year-old little boy died and his father, who's three years younger than me, died and couldn't, couldn't have been right, it, it was horrible. And this community, this is what we do. We come together. On an emotional September night, the people of Foxborough reached out to a broken family, trying to help them somehow take the first step toward possibly healing. In Foxborough, Jim Smith, WBZ News.